Joined now by assistant coach Ron Lowe. And, and Ron, I have to think after the last couple of games that maybe the, the speech or any talk in the room went something like defense, defense, defense here in the third period. Yeah, definitely. I think that uh, we're playing one of our better games, I think, in the last uh, couple of weeks. Actually, we've done a pretty decent job in our own end. Got a little sloppy late in the second after they changed goaltenders. And uh, we're going to have to make sure that we don't have turnovers in the neutral zone this period. You had to change goaltenders last game. Uh, what do you think of Ray Emery's play so far here tonight? He's been really solid. I think one of the big things about Ray tonight is that the rebound control has been there. Uh, pucks are sticking to him pretty much. And when he does that, he's uh, very effective. Thanks very much for this run. Thanks, George. Well, Ron Lowe was saying that the, the puck's been bouncing a little bit strangely on that ice surface out there tonight. And uh, if you've ever had a chance to get on a professional ice surface, a National Hockey League ice surface, you've probably had that moment where you sort of look up at the stands and think it's pretty cool to be down here and not sitting up there. Well, imagine what that's like for a bunch of kids who rarely get a chance to get out to an NHL rink. Gord Wilson caught up with the kids at Eugene Melnick's fourth annual skate just recently. This is the fourth annual Eugene Melnick Family Skate for Children. To date, over 400 kids have received skates, helmets, and Senator jerseys. All compliments of Ottawa Senators owner Eugene Melnick and his family. Is this your first time skating? No. Yes. No? I, I, I already know how to skate. Well, when you're out there today, who are you going to be? Ten, you're going to be. Ten, you love to see. There you go. Four years ago, I said, Find me a hundred kids who are deserving at Christmas and I'll have a gift for each of them. And they'll never forget that somebody they don't know g gave them a gift as huge as this. And I, I think all of us should feel very good, but Eugene Melnick has been a great gift to this community. First of all, I don't think I have seen you without a smile on your face since this event began. Uh, my guess is, uh, Mr. Melnick, that this is something that you and your family uh, look very forward to. Uh, we look forward to it every year. This is the fourth year we're doing it, and um, it's a great thrill. You know, we look forward to it. Our kids look forward to it. And I know there's 100 children out here that probably didn't sleep much last night. How did this come about, this event come about? Because it's pretty apparent, pretty evident that it is bringing the smiles to the hundreds of kids that are out here or have been out here for the last four years. Well, it's, uh, you know, it started off with just the senators have always been community oriented you know the players go out um, you know and as soon as they're brought into the organization it's a mindset within the organization you know you're not just here to play hockey you're here to be part of the community and they buy into that and I just said look uh, you know we have a rink we got this great ice surface what else can we do you know to to help out kids in, you know without players and um, came up with the idea, why don't we have this skate for kids that you know, don't, wouldn't, don't even own a pair of skates. And we bring them out and uh, they get skates. They, they're all asking, do we get to actually keep these? Yeah. You know, and yeah, they're yours now. So, you know, it, it, they get their helmets, they get their jerseys. And it, it's just, it's one of these things you do because you can do it. And uh, an easy thing to do. And it's an easy thing to do. And uh, like I said, you, you have 100 kids every year that walk out of here on cloud nine with a pair of skates. And, you know, you don't know where that could take them. You really don't. But you do know that they, it may keep them off the street. It may get them, keep them out of trouble. But you know one thing it will do for sure, and that is to make sure they have fun beyond today. They can go skating on the canal. They can go skating anywhere. And it doesn't cost a nickel. So Mr. and Mrs. Claus and Christmas have come just a little bit early for these 100 children of our community, an event put on by the Melnick family that has put a smile on the face of everyone involved.